folks on the I, I hate to be that way, but I, I, yeah, okay. until, it, until it happens more, and I can hear it for myself. I'm not saying you're crazy. It's no. What's up, guys? Um, getting ready to take the car down to the dealership right now. Um, I started the car up earlier today and ran it. Uh, I was getting ready to run to the store and I started it up and it sounded awful. Um, I'll stick that video in here. So, anyways, as you can hear, pretty awful. Um, we'll just see if the car is going to make the same sound, you know. Like I've said before, it never does. So, let's start it up right now and see what she sounds like before I leave. I don't hear anything, so um, we'll go from there. Uh, brown. I mean, that's not the main thing. The, the, the engine noise that I was here for last time. I, I got the oil changed like June 13th, and the car just hasn't been the same since. Now I've got, as far as like this fax machine sound, like I've got it recorded. Can you hear this? It's the most bizarre sound, and I'm not super concerned about that, I don't guess. Mm -hmm. It could be transmitting to Bluetooth or something, who knows, if that makes any sense. What the other noise when you said it's the noise of the oil yeah. change? What kind of noise? Let me show you. Uh, this, this, this video was taken this morning. Uh, it, Like the top. Do you hear that? Mm -hmm. It's like the topping. Tap, tap, tap. Right? Yeah. That's pretty loud. Now, like an engine tick, we'll just go with the engine and it'll be constant and it'll, you know, tick, 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 tick. This is just like, it, to me, it sounds like popcorn. Now the other noise, so that's the sound that it makes. It's kind of hard to hear and hear it. Mm -hmm. Did you just hear that? Let me go back. It's, it'll do it more than once. It does it every 20 seconds. Mm -hmm. That's coming from my engine. Hmm. So there's a phone right there timing it, and it was every 20 seconds. Last night it was doing it every two and a half minutes. So, I, you know, I don't know if I'm too worried about that. Okay. It's bizarre, though. Have you ever heard that come from an engine? Um, not really that type of noise, to be honest. Just did it again. Can you pinpoint it? Does it sound like it's actually coming um, from I did. I opened it up, and there's the electric box, right? Mm -hmm. um, say it's on the left-hand side. 
it was coming, sounded like it was coming from the engine, cause, like it was coming from underneath that. Oh, I tried to pinpoint it. Mm -hmm. And are you going to be waiting with us this afternoon? Um, I, it depends. Um, they're actually at lunch for about another 15 minutes, so it might be 15 minutes before I get somebody on it. I've played both the tapes for you. You've heard... Well, as far as you know, what they can do, uh, you know, I don't know. Maybe hook it up to the OBD and see if it's, you know, there's a code or something. I don't know. I know that that sounds not normal. I'm, I'm more concerned about the that tick. I could. That video is 30 seconds. I could send that to a, an email or. It very well could be. I don't see how. Well, yeah, it was too. It was a couple quarts shy of oil. Yeah. We came in here and got that rectified. That that didn't hurt anything. I don't think. It Hello. Holds ten, it holds. It holds ten quarts. And the paper said they put eight in it. And when I checked it, it was barely at the bottom of the dipstick. Okay. Quiet as a mouse. And that's how it goes and I put on. I'll go with test around with somebody who will never do it. Well, as soon as they leave the parking lot, they'll do it. Or I got home, they'll do it. But let's, uh, let, let's shut it off and refire it up. Can we do that? Yep, yeah, do whatever you want. This is crazy. I jacked it up to see if it was coming from the exhaust. I put like rubber on it, you know, that like a piece of rubber insulated so in case it's just rattling. And it sounded like it was coming when I crawled underneath it, it sounded like it was coming from the housing of the transmission. Not the engine actually. Once I got up underneath it. Well the bad thing is it's always gonna resonate yeah, pretty yeah. well. Especially in my garage. I'll look into it. I think it's a, maybe it's just a gap thing. Yeah. Well, also buying a brand new, as you probably know, you have a, a 3 year 36, 560, bumper to bumper, it all covers everything, stem to stern, and then 5 years, 60,000 miles on power. And also a 5 year, 60, safety which is airbags, seatbelts, stuff like that you need for access basically. Okay, thank you. But I would see if maybe you can see more of a frequency of when it happens. When it happens, yeah. yeah. Anything to help us reduplicate it. Yeah. It, it, I can't believe it's this clock. So I and, don't, and who knows when we be the rain has a little bit more of a it's it's hard to say. Well, I guess it's not going to... Alright, man. It is what it is. So, unfortunately, I, I hate to be I, that way, I, but... You know, okay. until, it, until it happens more, and I can hear it for myself. I'm not saying you're crazy. No, no, no. Until, you, 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 I, I can't be. I, I showed you the video. Look, until I hear it for myself, I can't really... I've got like five videos yes, like sir. that, of that same noise, but... Again, I want someone else to hear it. I'd be the same way if I'm talking to Yeah. 
I, I know another guy, I, I, another guy put a video on YouTube and was making the same exact noise as mine. And he took it in and actually did it while he was there. They ended up um, replacing his, the whole short block because he had um, cylinder wall damage from what they called excessive piston slap. And it, it could be the, uh, the GC350 suffered from it at the moment. Uh, I mean, and that's a bad thing, but as much production as you do, it's hard to refine every little thing. But like I said, you got one of these? Yeah, but I worry about it. I'm just going to drive it. And if not I not to point, say, you know, drive it until that's like. No, really no. hammering or anything. No. But just, like you said, if you can start to notice a rhyme or reason, say, for example, like you said, every single time I go to Columbus or I'm at least driving in for an hour, I hear more or more. It's only at startup. Only at startup after two minutes or one hour. Okay. And just anything, like I said, to help us out when it does happen again. You know, yes, it'd be a quick roll, it'd be great to come in and do it as soon as you pull in. And, I find this uh, hilarious, because he does it almost every single day. Eventually, if it run, if it, eventually it starts doing it. But it's quiet as a mouse. It's kind of frustrating, but yeah, you know, I think you put your time. You know, you, um, I'm just concerned about it, and if I pinpoint something or it gets worse or whatever, yeah, don't hesitate to come. I'll bring it back in. Your name's Kyle. Yep. Good work. And like I said, don't want to... Dodge don't feel okay. Draw, but if you feel fine to me, I own a daily drive manual myself. It seems pretty good. You know, that's the transmission in this thing's awesome. But, um, well, not until you throw a bunch of power at it, but it's pretty bad. Well, it's, it's unmodified at the moment. Now you sound at the moment. I didn't bring my mounts for my camera, so sorry about that, but this car was just quiet as a freaking mouse, so, you know, they were writing me, I've got a five-year, 60,000 mile powertrain warranty, sorry I got shipped here, so, you know, screw it, man, I'm just gonna drive it, I ain't gonna worry about it, it is what it is, um, can't count on the damn thing to, to do it. It does it fucking every day. Sorry about my language. It does it every day, but it doesn't do it when I need it to. So, a little frustrated right now. That's the end of my video. Uh, I'm going to run the piss out of this. You guys have a great day. What's up, guys? Um, I'm going to wrap this video up. It's been uh, way too long. Um, sorry about that. I just wanted to film everything and keep it in context um, so that, you know, there's very little editing as I'm talking to the tech or the lady. Um, everything went exactly as I thought it would. Um, you know, it ain't going to make the noise when you're there. You saw the video before I left. It was terrible how the car can go from that to that. And, and I'm going to, you know, full disclosure, the first video uh with the loud sound um the car had been running for three or four minutes now, that's not a terribly long time but you know it's enough to not have for it to idle down and not have you know cold start sounds and all that stuff and even if it was a cold start sound that's not normal so anyways um this is my outro and I'm just going to say this right now. I am not going to spend one second worrying about this car anymore. I'm just going to drive it and have fun as, it, as I was doing before the oil change. And anybody who's followed my channel knows that 
the car has not been right since that oil change so um, two things are going to happen here in the next couple weeks I'm going to change the oil even though it was just changed a thousand miles ago and I'm going to make sure the right oil and viscosity is put in it um, and the right amount most importantly and then two um, I'm going to mod this car the way I want and I'm going to start that out with a tune I'm not sure yet if it's going to be a dyno tune or or a regular tune um, but my goal is for lower end torque so um, hopefully I can find something that's uh, a really good tune out there that's going to help me with that um, there's a lot of great companies so um, that's that's my game plan for right now so I'm gonna wrap this video up it's been long enough super frustrated right now but I'm keeping my cool you guys keep your cool um, and we'll see you next time on the next video thanks for watching guys